Prime delay relays are often very useful when it comes to sequencing motors when you want them to start a specific time after a push button is started or something else is started. And also we can use them to keep something running for a specific time after a stop button has been pushed. And that's what we'll be going over in this video is the off delay function of time delay relays. Here we have a typical off delay. We have a coil, much like we have any kind of relay. So we have a TDR coil, time delay relay coil. It has a timing function of five seconds on it. Here I have some normally open contacts, some normally closed contacts. Those are instantaneous. So what happens is the moment TDR energizes, these contacts will close, these contacts will open. It ignores the time. What doesn't ignore the time are these timed contacts down here. This is a normally open time to open contact and a normally closed time to close contact. The big difference between an off delay and an on delay is that these contacts, their timing begins when this relay is de-energized after it has been energized. So let's see what follow through the sequence of energizing TDR. I go ahead, I energize TDR. What was once a normally open contact becomes closed and what once was a normally closed contact becomes open. So that happens instantaneous. Now for the off delay contacts, these contacts do what they're supposed to instantly as well. So TDR energizes these normally open contacts, normally open time to open will close instantly. And these normally closed contacts time to close will open instantly. As long as this is energized, all of these whether it's these instantaneous contacts or these instant or these time contacts will stay in the position their energized state. So this will stay closed, this will stay open, this will stay closed, this will stay open as long as TDR is energized. The magic happens when TDR de-energizes. So let's say this TDR was running for about half hour which means that this stays closed, this stays open, this stays closed, this stays open. So that five seconds has nothing to do with any of this when TDR is energized. When we de-energize TDR, you'll notice that the instantaneous contacts go back to their original state. So what was once closed now becomes open and which was once open now becomes closed. So they go back to their original state. Those are instantaneous contacts. The magic of the off delay, however, happens here you notice that was once closed is still closed and which was once open is still open because the timing in an off delay begins when the coil is de-energized. So what will happen is it will wait five seconds and then this will open. It will wait five seconds and this will close. Normally open, timed to open, normally closed, timed to close. So five seconds occurs. And then the normally open opens and the normally close closes and it times out. So let's take a look at how this would play out in a practical circuit. Here I have your basic start stop. So I have my stop, my start, I have an M contact, so M coil, my M contact. Then I have a time relay coil or TDR coil or just a TR coil in parallel with the M. I have these contacts which are associated with this coil and another motor. So when I press the start button, let's see what happens. The moment I press start, M coil energizes. These contacts close. That'll be my hold in circuit. This coil energizes. These contacts close and M2 energizes. Again, the timing function has no play in this part at all. So the moment I hit start, this energizes, this energizes, and this energizes all at the same time. Now, when I release the start button, everything is held in because of this hold in contact right here. It bypasses the open there, it provides a parallel path. That stays energized, that stays energized, that stays closed, that stays energized. Now what happens though is when I hit the stop button, that's where the magic happens with the time delay. I go ahead and I push the stop button, which will de-energize this circuit right here. The stop button pops back into place. This is de-energized, this is de-energized. Now, this is where the timing begins. Five seconds after this de-energizes, this will open. Now, remember, this will hold closed for five seconds. So M2 will run for five seconds, and then this will release this set of contacts, and it will open. And then we go ahead and we see that M2 shuts down. So the sequence of events, when we start, M energizes, TR energizes, and M2. So motor M starts and motor M2 starts right away. When I press the stop button, 
Motor M stops instantly. Motor 2 stops 5 seconds later. And that is how an off-delay circuit or an off-delay relay is used in a motor control circuit.